card. That's it, five minutes left on your warm up. Nice and relaxed. <coughs> Still at 90k, it's 90 RPM. Keep it nice and simple. Slow you down.
cadence drills. You're going to go right leg, left leg, and then back into both legs. Now right leg. That's it. So just focus on using your right leg only. Take your left leg out if you want. So you only have 55% FTP, so you have to take it nice and easy. Let's see, you're going to move to your left leg now in a minute and then back into both legs. Just give it a bit of focus on your technique and form before we start into the session. So it's still just part of your warm up. Next left leg. That's it. That's it, that's it. Driving down with the right leg, pulling back up, going into your left leg. Now left leg. Left leg for one minute. That's it, keep it nice and relaxed as well. Like I said, folks, I'm pushing down through the ball of the foot, pulling it back up, trying to have any dead spot in the stroke. This is a big endurance session this morning, building your strength, as you can see by the graph. Plenty of nice little blocks in it, keep you going. Next, both legs. Alright, we're going to move back into both legs. Pull the concentration again and pushing down and pulling back up. Just trying to eliminate that bed spot. Now, both legs. There we go. Still only have 55% FTP, 90 cadence. Next left leg. Now right leg. Keep going. Now right leg. 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 So for anyone who's used to doing the sessions or doing the classes, next right leg. You'll see from time to time if you're doing class you have your numbers on the bottom of the screen. This one here is your power. This is what you need to be doing. You'll have calculated your FTP. That's all we will. Now right this, leg. The screen bar here is an indicator of what power you're doing. This bar on the other side, the blue bar, that's an indication of your cadence. I'm going to go as green, you're in the right zone for the cadence, if it's blue, you're going too slow. If it's red, the legs are turning over too fast. So, you don't need to work out what you're going to do to balance it. So if your power is about right, but your cadence is wrong, you need to go to an easier gear. Turn the legs a small bit faster. And that'll decrease the power and just increase your cadence. Next left leg. And then up obviously the top here, I just want to tell you what watts we're looking for, what watts we're doing. <laughs> and then it gives us the cadence we're actually doing here at the moment as well. Now left leg. So we're still in the warm up. It's going to increase now for a few minutes. Call on the graph. So we've got 10 minute warm up here. 5 minutes of some cadence drills. We're then going to go into 5 minutes. Bit of recovery. 5 minutes again. And a bit of recovery. That's going to continue like that now for the duration of the morning. First two hours are pretty much identical. And then we Next move into the last legs. hour. <coughs> and 
Nice. Nice set of four blocks. Get through the last hour. Now both legs. That's it, folks, and your technique. Be nice and relaxing the shoulders, pushing down through the hips. Transferring all the energy out through the ball of the foot, not through the toes. Try to make sure to be flexing those ankles, pushing that heel down at some point as well, towards the bottom of the stroke before you pull, pick it back up. Nice smooth cadence, knees pointing forward. Follow in the direction of your second and third toe. Next 90 RPM effort 6. If you're working on your perceived effort scale, you're looking for a 5 to 6 on this one. 90 cadence, so we're keeping the cadence the same. Now 90 RPM effort 76 6. FTP. 76% FTP. We're going for 10 minutes as well. These are all nice long blocks this morning. Building your endurance, your strength. So we're looking at 90 cadence, 76% FTP. So you're below race pace. You're going effort six on your effort scale. One to two being easy. Three and four still being pretty relaxed, just to go warm up. Five to six then. Just go moderate. Seven. Below rest pace. Eight. Should be at rest pace. Nine is above rest pace. And ten, we're looking pretty much all out. Here we are, we'll just focus on this now for the next eight and a half minutes. And again, we want to be working on our technique as well. Then focus on our posture and our position on the bike. Keep the license moving. Find that rhythm now. You're going to hold it then steady. The next seven and a half minutes. Keep the line in that graph just above my head. You should see that red line moving across. So if you're on your, you have your power meter working. We're looking at 76 percent FTP. Me and Karen here in the studio, it's easy. We have it all on screen here. We have two, we have two green bars in the bottom. They balance our cadence. And our power, with the numbers then telling us what we're actually working on. So give us your load. That's what we're looking for in relation to our FTP that we have calculated. It tells us the watts we're actually doing. Cadence we're doing then as well. Give us our speed. And then give us the all important number which is the watts per kilo.
that you're managing to get your power correct, and you're not actually, your power's correct and you can't get the cadence, the cadence is too low, you probably need to go to an easier gear, turn the pedals a bit faster. Don't worry if you can't match it exactly. Just find the cadence you're comfortable with and one you can manage. Just to keep it balanced and relaxed and keep it consistent then is the most important thing. So we're over 76 for the FTP. Everett level 5 to a 6. 90 RPM. So find the level that you're comfortable with there for a few minutes. Just focus on that. Find a nice comfortable rhythm and cadence. Something nice and smooth. At the end of the day, this is an endurance session. So just focus on what you can do on your levels for the start. You can always pick it up later on if you feel comfortable. goal here today as well is just to work on that consistency of form, consistency of effort. So if you can only do an effort level 4 or 5 to start here, that's what you do, but keep that consistent. And just pick it up there in the next one. Different days and have different results for you. You can be tired from a long run yesterday. But you're saving yourself for a fast fight tomorrow. That's it, three minutes to go on this first block. I don't want to drop it right back down again, nice and easy. Won't be for long. Then we'll pick it back up again. If you get into a rhythm there now, we'll try and hold that for the next two and a half minutes at least. So just be smooth with it. Keep the pedals turning over. Just that nice consistent rate. Go to an effort level five to six. So it shouldn't be too taxing just yet. minutes to go. Still at 76 for the FTP. Keeping an eye on that graph there behind us. You can see that red line moving across. Here we are here now. Watching our clock over on this side. <laughs> you should be able to see that. Minute and a half on the clock. 24 minutes done. Seven minutes 90 RPM at effort six. That's it, keep going now. Just over a minute to go. One minute. 
it. This is your first time looking at the session and your first time doing it. As I said, you're doing it at your own perceived effort. First time doing it, you only want to have a look. Just be turning over the pedals and get a feel for it. Work out what your effort level is on the scale. You know, I have a friend of mine doing it for the first time. First time on a bike in a long time. Next, recover. So it's only about finding your effort. Work out what your effort scale is on a 1 to 10. Effort 6 might be too much for you for the moment. Recover. 55% FTP. 55% FTP. That's an effort level 2. Really easy. Nice easy gear. Nice and smooth. Keeping the cans the same around about 90. Next recover. Next recover. Especially if you're doing the three hours, you're going to lose a lot of sweat, salt. If you want to get warm, you might even need a, a dry top or a dry jersey as well, halfway through. There we are, 45 seconds left, 55%. Effort level 2 to 3, and then we're kicking it up. We're going to be going slightly harder than we were just previous. And again, just find that, find that pace that you're comfortable with, that cadence. So we're doing a nice consistent cadence all the way through this morning. 90 RPM, it's not changing. Next FTP effort 8. So we're at 100% FTP. Effort level 8. 100% FTP, effort level 8. There we go, 8 minutes of this. FTP. So keep it nice and relaxed. Take your time getting into it. Nice and smooth. Change down the gears. Put on a bit of resistance. Down we go again. There you are, find that effort. You're not all out, it's not effort 10. You're not sprinting. We're still at 90 cadence. It is FTP 100%. With effort level 8. That's it, 7 minutes to go. Like I said, take your time getting into that effort. Keep it nice and controlled. You want to be consistent now all the way through. So again, if it's your first time, just pick an effort. You can turn the pedals over that nice and easy. Just keep it going. And try and keep it going over the whole the same rate, at the same effort, for the next six and a half minutes. Two hour set. You see there's four of these efforts in it. If you do one hour, obviously there's two. And 
as a few losing consistent. Again, if it's one of your first stands, don't worry too much about how fast you're going, or the effort, or the power. Just pick an effort you can do for the next five and a half minutes, and just keep that ball nice and smooth. You're going to go easier then again. Back down to 55% effort level 2. Then we're going to pick it back up. 76% effort level 6. But for the moment, <laughs> we're at effort level 8, 100% FTP, 90 RPM, 5 minutes to go. That's it, coming down nice and quick. That's it, 90 RPM, you don't want to be here. You don't want to be grinding it out just yet. That's it, well done, keep it going now. Over a half hour in, make sure you've been getting something to drink. That's it, nice and smooth on the legs. Keep them operating straight up and down. Don't be letting them dig out to the side. That's it. Nice and consistent. Just keep turning over. Again, if it's your first time and you're finding the faster cadence, it's a bit hard. Stick it down a gear or two. Don't go too far above that effort. Again, if it's your first time, you probably don't have cabin sensors and different things. So you don't want to be spinning too fast on the pedals. You don't want to be bouncing on the saddle. You want to at least feel like you can drive down through the pedal and produce a bit of power. We're still at FTP 100%. Effort level 8. 90 RPM or so. Some people that's gone to the 80, for others it'll be 95. Just find that comfortable spot. Like I said, if you're under three hours this morning, you're still only winding into your effort. 33 minutes done. <laughs> you found the hour, you're over halfway there. That's it, guys. Nearly there now on this block. We're going to get a recovery then. And then it's going to repeat itself. Just over a minute to go. The important thing is to keep the pedals turning over. One minute. I know we're having a few on the first time. 
So just keep turning them over. Just a bit faster than you would if you were going easy. <coughs> just get a feel for it. That's it, 40 seconds to go. Next set is going to be easier. We're doing the same efforts, but you'll be ready for. That's it. There they are, 100% FTP, effort level 8, 90 RPM. We're not going above our threshold today. We're holding it at our FTP level. Recover. 55% FTP. <coughs> Five minute recovery. 55% FTP. Nice and easy. Keep the legs turning over nice and smooth. That's it. That's it, really easy though. This is where we'll just keep the legs turning over. The air back in the lungs. The heart rate back down. You can still be operating under your threshold heart rates. Here, sir. That's it, fifty five percent FTP, upper level two or three, keep it at two, nice and easy. Ninety cadence. Three and a half minutes to go. Make sure you get your drink. Make sure you're relaxed. And again, if you're doing the two or three hour set, even the one hour, if you're going to be sweating a lot. You want to be making sure you're using some sort of sports drink with a bit more salt, magnesium, potassium in it. You're going to lose a lot of salt when you're sweating. One hour, you're getting away with water just about. But for the two and three hour sets, generally need a bit more. Keep it nice and relaxed. We're then going to get back into our effort level 6. 76% FTP. Keeping an eye on our graph and our clock. Like I said, if you're watching it, here we are, 2 minutes to go. You've done just 39 minutes there now. Here we are in the graph. This is the end of our first hour. At the end of the next set, you may want to continue on for five minutes with a bit of a warm down. Two hours then you see it. Do the very same again, repeat yourself twice after that. See the two hour then. Then you see the last hour I've built a nice little block first. Just to push it up some more of it. Fills it up nicely. And then the pitch. A uh, minute and a half and we're off again. Just wind into this 76% effort level 6. Nice and easy. Just wind into it. Find that comfortable cadence. Like I said, the important thing is just to keep the pedal turning over. Especially if it's your first time or you've only done a few. Okay, anyone can do this beginner to elite. One minute. You just have to have to find your 
effort level. So one minute to go, and we're increasing our effort. As I said, find that, find that effort level six that you feel is appropriate. Should be harder than we're going now. Should be easier than what you did on the FTP level, 100% effort eight. You're going to hold that consistently then all the way through. Keep an eye on your cadence, your pedal rate. As I said, if you're watching it on the screen. Try and match my cadence if you can. Next 90 RPM effort 6. So we are 76% FTP. Coming up. 90 cadence. Effort level 6. 2, 1. Off the go. Increasing that effort now. Effort 6. 76% FTP. Get out a couple of gears harder. Put on a bit of resistance. Getting that cadence up to the, what we're looking for. Eighty RPM, seventy-six percent FTP. Remember, level five or six. Well, I know we made barriers out there. Now we're going. What the holy god have we got into? What am I doing? He's going to be looking for video evidence now. Later on, I have to stay pedaling. That's it, just keep it turning over. Right, as I said, it should feel easier on this one than it did in the first run. Did it well warmed up. Like that into the big ring on the front. Made it easier than it was the first time. That's it, nice and controlled. Eight and a half minutes to go. Seventy six percent FTP, ninety K in ever level six. As I said, it should be easier than the first one. We have found that rhythm. That's it. Keep those legs turning over the same. Try to keep everything relaxed. You can join my body and dog. <laughs> That's it, guys. Well done. Holding that effort all the way through now. Should be looking at your posture in the form. Try to keep relaxed in the shoulders. Seven minutes to go. Still effort level six, 90 RPM. That's 76 percent FTP. Our bed should just be above zone two, low zone three. That's it. Cruising along. Six and a half minutes. There you go, keep an eye on that crack. And that red line as it moves across.
Sit well on. Keep it controlled. Just keep those legs turning over. This is your first time. 45 minutes done. I say we're flying the dirt this morning. 45 minutes done. Feels like we've already started. Warm up complete, ready now for the next 15 minutes. So we're going to hold that effort. As I said, if you're new to this, if you haven't done any of these sessions, we've done quite a few of them now. Just pedal along with us. Keep that effort nice and controlled. Just pick an effort you can go at, nice and easy. Trying to stay with us. For everyone else, you're at Everett level 6, 76 foot FTP, 90 RPM. Focus on consistency again this morning. That's what we want. Consistent effort and power. Working on that endurance and strength. Control of our technique and our form. In the three hours we can work on our nutrition as well and our drinks. We've got four minutes to go. Still in effort level 6. 90 RPM. That's it, well done. Three and a half minutes. Just set in the window. Don't be pushing yourself harder than the prescribed effort. It's not about speed. Take your time for speed. We lose speed during the week, we lose some intervals. Today we're building our endurance and strength. Like I say, consistency with the pedal and stroke, cadence. Still working on the race preparation effectively. Probably no race isn't happening yet for about nine or ten weeks at the earliest. So, they said we're still prepping. Doing that strength. That's it. Keep the control now. Two minutes to go. Still at 76% FTP. Ever level six. 90 cadence. Should be well settled in now at this stage. That's it. Whatever effort you're doing now at the moment, try and hold that now all the way. For the next minute 45. Consistent. 
Do some of the ladies in your car boss, what do you want to use your whiz? We're about 50 minutes done already. Thirty seconds worth for short recovery. Then we're going up to effort level eight. One hundred percent FTP. Next recover. Very well. Keep this going all the way through now. Ten seconds to go. Go back off. Go on the stay. Two, one. Recover. 55% yeah, FTP. Two minute recovery. 55% FTP. Effort level two. Nice and easy. Effort level two. Nice and easy. Nice and okay and still. Card about 90. <laughs> That's it. Make sure you get a drink. Get plenty of drink. Thank you, George. There we go, just over a minute to go. That's it, sorry, we're not dead yet. Keep it going. Stay with it. We have an FTP effort coming up. That's going to bring us right to the hour. And then you want to head it out then. Just for five minutes after, if you're doing just the hour, just want to warm down. If you're staying with us for the two hours. Just keep going. And if you're with us on Instagram as well, don't worry. The live feed will come back. We'll lock off just on the hour, so we'll turn you back on. Next step, we'll TP effort eight. We're going to repeat that then. Two more, two more sets for the second hour. Then we have a new set then for the last hour. So FTP 100%. Effort level 8, 90 cadence of air about. FTP effort 8. Again, if it's your first time, FTP. you shouldn't feel like you're flat out. Bit of a stronger effort than you had previous. Try and keep the cadence around the same 90 if you can. Just pull the brake, that car really sets it. That's it. Keep the control. Try to get resistance. That's it. Set FTP, effort level 8, 90 RPM. Nice strong effort for the next 7 minutes. Center technique, pushing down for the ball of your foot. Like I said it should be just a bigger effort than you had previous. You're not going flat out. Effort level eight. If you were asked to go longer, you should be able to go longer. Or if I said I wanted to increase that to ten, you should be able to do the same. That's it, nice and smooth. Six minutes, we're nearly there. Fifty 
five minutes done. So your Instagram feed may knock out just in a minute or so, a minute or two. Just keep an eye on your time, you have five and a half minutes to go from here. So you'll have it reset. That's it, well done. Keep it going. One hundred percent FTP. Ninety RPM. Everett level eight. That's it. Just keep the control. Anything is keep the pedal turning over. We're over in that fitness all the time. This is one of your early sessions or one of your first ones. 90k can sometimes feel a bit fast. So bring it back to around 75 or 80 if you want. But if you have the cane sensor, just do something that's a bit more comfortable. There we go, four minutes to go. Coming up on 57 minutes done. That's it, guys. Keep going. That's it. Nice and relaxed. Keep that cadence. Nice and constant. Three and a half minutes. Throw it back off. This is the sounds of that turbo. Thank you for the same all the way through. That's it. We're still at 100%. We shouldn't be going over that. For effort level 8. Cadence of around 90. That's it, well done. That's it, guys, keep pushing on. Two and a half minutes. Nearly there. So yeah, nice long recovery. Full of complete recovery. And we're going to do it all over again. One hundred percent FTP. Ever level eight. You should have more to give if you could. That's it, working on that consistency, the cadence, the power, keeping your effort the same, keeping the control. <laughs> Minute and a half. That's it, keep it going. Just over one minute. One minute. Hold on. 
Arms at your studio mirror, stretch hold. One hundred percent FTP. Covered level eight. Thirty seconds left. Next week. There's a countdown. In Fifteen seconds. Hello. Keep it going. Don't back off. Five, four, three. Two, one, there we are. 55% FTP. Effort level two. <laughs> Five minutes. That's it, well done. So we should be on the hour now. Still going, yeah? Yeah, you can start. But you didn't. Yeah, for a winger. We are, keep going, you're still on your recovery. Fifty five percent FTP, Everett level two. Keep it nice and smooth, nice and relaxed. Make sure you get a drink, get something to eat if you're going longer. Heading into our second hour. That's it, keeping it controlled. As so we head into our second hour now, we're looking for a full and complete recovery. Fifty five percent FTP. There we go, 55% FTP, 90 cadence, effort level 2, that's it guys, keep going, just refilling some water bottles here for myself as well, Ron Ross, Carmel Kern, Ron Miss Beltman, hope you're enjoying that t-shirt, Justin, Karen Cavan in the tie, Hello guys. So we should have this up on YouTube later on as well. You find us on the YouTube channel. Should be on the Instagram stories. And it's here on Facebook Live as well. That's it. Guys, just under two minutes left of our recovery. So you got plenty more to drink now in the next hour. Wanna get something to eat if you go over to three hours? You won't do it all on a bottle of water. That's it. Keep that going now. <laughs> well, a minute to go out of recovery, 55% FTP, effort level 2. One minute. As we get back into our second hour, our third set of four. You know, any of these sessions that I build, they all have a defined cutoff time. 
So we can, people can opt out with the hour, you can opt out with two hours, or you can stay over the three, or you can join in then for the second and third hour, or you can chop it up any way you want. You can pick what, how much you want to do. Like I said, you can join in or out as you need. Next 90 RPM effort 6. So we're back to our 76. We're back to our 76 percent FTP. 90 RPM, 90 games. You're just joining us now. Now 90 RPM 76 percent FTP. 76 percent FTP. 10 minute effort. There you go, 90 RPM, get that cadence up, throw on a bit of resistance, get on a gear or two. There we are, set into that effort now. We're going to have a short break, we're recovering at the end of this 10 minute block. And then we're going to go into 100% effort, effort level 8. So working on your form all the time as well. You want those knees pointing forward. We know them kicking out underneath the elbows. It's all about straight line speed. That's where you want everything pointing. Staying relaxed in the shoulders and the lower back. Work on that cadence. As I said, making sure the knees are pointing straight forward, feet are pointing forward. And they're not bowed out, pointing out or pointing in on the pedals. It cause you knee pain. That's it. So smooth and consistent is the key this morning. Well done, guys. Just over 8 minutes to go. You should be well set into your effort now. Holding that steady. We're working on our strength and endurance this morning. And our consistency. Consistency of effort, consistency of cadence, learning what our perceived efforts are as well. This should only be a six, shouldn't feel too taxing on the body. Nice quick cadence, 90 RPM. Most of you will average between 80 and 90 on the road, or 85 and 95 on the road. Higher cadence keeps more blood flowing down through the legs, keeps it clear out of all those toxins and lactates. Sorry, we look for the look and look at it in here. Yeah, right, six and a half minutes. Yeah, the one on the yeah. There we go. That's it, keep that effort going. 90 RPM, 76% FTP, effort level 8. You're watching our clock here on the side. There they are, see counting down 610, 69, 608. We've done, we've been with them since the start, we've done an hour and 10 minutes.
That's it, guys. Keep going. Yeah, it's hard enough. Ninety RPM, seventy six percent FTP, separate level eight. Five minutes of this block to go in the third set. Four minutes to go. Everett level six, seventy six for FTP. Keep going in that craft as well. That's it. This is the third of four. Consistent. That's it, guys. Keep going. This is block three of four. We're in the third set. Three minutes to go. 90 RPM. Cover level six. 76 percent FTP. That's it. That's why you keep drinking. This morning, so then keep doing it here. Keep that effort consistent. We don't want to push ahead too quick. 76 to the FTP. That's it, keep the control. 90 RPM. We don't want to join this for this one. Just settle into this one. And then give it a nice good effort then for that last set. That's it. So keep that going. Minute and a half. Keep it consistent now. Whatever effort you're at now for a minute and a half, you're going to keep that up. So we still have 76 on FTP. Effort level 6. Say keep it going. One minute to go. One minute. You'll find this session on our YouTube channel later on. It'll be recorded in its entirety.
That's it, keep working away. Just over 20 seconds to go. We're still at effort level 8. Next recover. That's it. Three, two, one. Recover. Two minute recovery. FTP. Fifty-five percent FTP. That's it. Keep it going. So you're looking for an effort level two. Keep that cadence going. Nice and relaxed. Keep the food coming. Keep the drinks going. We keep ourselves right for the for the three hours, two hours, or one hour, whichever we may be doing. That's it. Normally, if you're here to do a farm, you can give a band and be smart. Nice and easy. 55% recovery still. Make the most of it. We're going up to 100% FTP. Effort level 8. We'll be at 90 cadence. That's it. This is set 3 of 4 in the 2 hours. Next FTP effort date. That's it. Keep it going. Watch that counter. Five seconds to go and we go up. One. Off we go. 100%. Eight minutes. FTP. Effort level eight. Again, find that nice cadence. A lot of bit of resistance. Feel up the legs. Yeah, find a nice comfortable position. Seven and a half minutes to go. FTP, effort level 8, <laughs> 90 RPM, ninety is a bit strong, you can show back about 85, again it's just be consistent all the way through for the next 7 odd minutes. Effort level 8, 100% FTP. Thank you, RPF. I say well done. Six minutes to go. Keep the control. That's it. Just keep an eye on that graph. Watch your counter. Focus on the legs. And your breathing. Keep it all nice and comfortable. And again, we're on at effort level 8. So it's asking you to go harder and sprint. You should be able to do that. Okay, 
Turn it off. Five minutes to go. Have our hand down to 10 on your effort scale. 100% FTP. 90 RPM. Keeping everything nice and relaxed. Consistency. Pushing down to the ball and foot onto the pedal. Shouldn't necessarily have a toes pointed all the way down. Be flattening that heel as you come to the bottom of the stroke. TT bike, perfect time to be down on the arrow bars. They are down on the arrow bars. Make sure your knees aren't being pushed outwards. Maybe an indication that your bars are too low, your saddle is too high. <laughs> or vice versa. Just over 3 minutes to go. 100% FTP. We're at Everett level 8. 90 RPM. That's it. Should be able to go harder for the last 3 minutes. You have to, so that's the gauge on your effort. But you're not all out, you're not sprinting. It's a nice, strong, steady effort. That's it, two and a half minutes, keep focused now. These are nice long blocks that you can settle into. Really get that rhythm going. Focus on all those things we talked about. That's it, super job. Coming to the end of block of set three. One more set to go. Keep going. That's it, 90 seconds. We're still at 100% FTP. We're still doing 90 cadence or thereabouts. Effort level 8. We're taking the last minute now of this one. One minute. Let's say, listen to the sound of the turbo. Keep that rhythm even. Thirty seconds to go. Keep it going. One hundred percent FTP. Effort eight. Less than thirty seconds. Next recover. 
Keep it going all the way through. Ten. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And recover. Five minutes. FTP. That's it. Full and complete recovery. Five minutes. Every level two. Little or no resistance on the pedals. Keep the legs turning over on a nice consistent rate. Take a breath back. Make sure you get plenty to drink. Get used to that recovery. Control that recovery, keep it nice and smooth. Four minutes to go. We want to head into, head into set four of four. That's going to bring us to the end of our two hours. And over the last hour, we've built a nice little set for you. It's just going to be a steady increase all the way to the end. So you're going to go up, we we'll start starting at effort level 5 or so, we're going to go 6, 7, 8, all the way up. That's still a half hour away. Small matter, this last set coming up. Set 4 of 4. Same as we've done previous, we've got better horse now. training stress score, 80% intensity factor. So a nice strong session this morning. Again, it's just all about the endurance and strength, consistency all the way through. We're now looking for big bursts of speed. We're working just on that consistency, building the endurance, training the end of the mind as to what this effort is. Is this an effort six? Is it an effort eight? If we had to race with no computers, what should my effort be? What would it feel like? It's always good to know that. So we're still at 55% FTP. 90 cadence. Our effort is still only a two. Turn it over the legs nice and free. Fear of all those toxins in the body. Getting the heart rate right back down, as I said, we're looking for full recovery. Should be back down into our zone one almost now. Breathing is coming back nice and free. Some deep breaths, get some air back in the lungs. And as I said, keep those fluids going in. Plenty of sweat going to be lost. You're going to lose loads of salt. You want to make sure if you're doing a longer session that you have a, a sports drink of some sort. Put some carbs in it. Energy, calories, salts. No matter what it is, but I'm going to have something extra. Top that up with an energy bar and water. Still in the recovery, still at 55% effort level 2. 1 minute 30 seconds. Go an hour and a half done. You're exactly halfway through your session. That's it, nice and easy. As I said, we want to fit back into one effort level 6. That's 76% FTP, effort level 6, 90 RPM. I should feel relatively comfortable. As I said, this is set 4 of 4. Next 90 RPM effort 6. 
There we are, effort level 6, 90 cadence, 76% FTP. Same as we had before. No 90 RPM effort 6, 76% FTP. A lot of the resistance. Take down a couple of gears. Keep that cadence up. Six percent FTP, ever level six, ninety RPM. That's it, nice and controlled. Ready to go nice and early. It's a ten minute block. That's it, keep that rhythm going. Same rhythm as you had before. Work on that cadence, work on that pedal stroke. And keep it smooth all the way around. Just a nice bit of pressure on the pedals. Feel that pedal under the ball of your foot. That's it, 76% FTP, effort level 6, nice and control. Eight minutes to go. As I keep it relaxed, ever level six. We've done the two hours. You might be starting to feel a little bit now at this stage. We'll still keep it at a six. Keep that effort up. Nice long recovery after this. We wind our way in then to the last hour. That's it, keep it controlled. 90 RPM, 76 to the FTP. Now we're level 6 on a scale of 1 to 10. As I said, one and two is easy. Three, four. Again, you're still only working at about 60 odd percent. If I even six, you're moving into about 60 to 75 percent. Seven and eight, then 85 up to your 100. Nine and ten are 100 percent of your FTP plus, and ten plus ten is an auto sprint. None of those here today. Eight is as high as we're going. Here we are. Keep it nice and slow. Keep focused now at this stage. This is the last set. Four. This is probably the hard one. They're doing three hours. We're halfway there. We're waiting for two hours. We should be trying to keep it strong. I want to finish it as strong as you started. Whatever level 6, 76 to the FTP. <coughs> Just over 5 minutes to go. 90 RPM. 
keep the control. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Shouldn't be bouncing on the side at this point. We're not sprinting. We're not doing too high a cadence that you're going to be bouncing. You're only going to have a very small movement over and back on the saddle, bending at all. You shouldn't feel like you're reaching for pedals or that your toes are being pushed out the front of the shoe. You're pushing down the ball or the foot using those big powerful quads, hamstrings, the glutes. Don't use the hamstring and the calf to pull it back. Snapping that heel as you come around the bottom of the pedal stroke. There we go, 76%, 4 minutes. Ever level 6. No cadence sensor. Try and match mine if you want. I'm on the 1991 there. Again, yeah, if 90 feels too high, just show it back small bit. Somewhere that's comfortable. You still don't want a big gear at all, you don't want to be grinding it. You do a nice rate of turnover. You do 76% FTP power. Never level 6. You should be comfortable. You should be thinking you can finish out just 2 hours at that rate if you want it. And again, a great time to be down in your aero bars, working on that TT position. Just be careful if you're on your TT and in the aero bar you don't have the computer or the iPad on the floor right in front of the wheel. You want it just out front of you, where you can keep the head up in a racing position. Try and get the same position as possible as you would be racing on the road or training on the road. You're not going to be looking at the front wheel all the time. Two minutes to go. That's it. Keep the control. 76% FTP still. 90 RPM. <laughs> set four of four. Ninety seconds to go before recovery. Hold down for the last minute. Whatever effort you're doing, take hold that for a minute. One minute. Go back off. Just keep it consistent now, whatever you were doing. Hold that steady. That's it, we're nearly there. 40 seconds. We go on 90 RPM, ever level 6, 76% FTP, 20 seconds to go. Next recover. That's it, don't back off. 
Asha come down. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Recovery for breeze off. 55% that's your level 2. 55%. Let's give me. Get a drink. Keep the legs turning over nice and free. That's it, you've over an hour and 40 done. 100 minutes. last FTP effort now of this session for this two hour part then we're going to drop down for a nice long recovery for a nice long warm up if anyone's going to join us at the two hour mark we're going to give us four nice big steady blocks Picking it up each time, just putting on a bit more resistance and a bit more resistance. That's it. Focus on your position. Just trying to keep the lower back relaxed. If you don't have it rounded out too much, keep it relaxed, be focusing on those glutes so that then we produce the power. When you get off the bike, you should be able to walk, you shouldn't be stiff. Next FTP effort 8. There's your countdown now. FTP effort 4 of 4. 100%. Effort level 8. 90 cans. So we're at 100% FTP. FTP effort 8. 100% FTP. Effort level 8. 90 cadence, 8 minutes. That's it, take it down a couple of gears, down a bit of resistance. And the cadence back to where it was on the last effort. Down a bit more resistance if it feels too easy. Should feel harder than the last one at least. That's it. Just over seven minutes to go. Set into that rhythm now. Keep the control. 90 RPM. 100% FTP. Covered level eight. For seven minutes. That's it, keep it going. Keep an eye on that graph behind me. Hopefully you can see that red line moving through. You can see the counter over here, six and a half minutes to go. That's it, keep it going. We have a nice long full full recovery coming up. Percent FTP, 90 RPM, six minutes to go. Effort level eight. Consistency now for the last five and a half minutes. Nice long structured workout. Build your strength and endurance and your focus. Train your body to learn what effort level eight is. 
Number 96. And again, you should be able to go harder. We're only at effort 8 out of 10. Got 100% FTP. That's it, well done. Coming it down nice and quick now. Nice smooth motion in the legs. Four and a half minutes. Well done guys. Stay with it now. That's it, keep it going. Coming to the end of set four of four. In this first two hour. That's it, my love. Three and a half minutes. Stay focused now, stay with it. Keep that effort smooth, that cadence smooth as well. Heart rate should still be below your threshold heart rates. Three minutes. FTP, Nike Cadence, Everett Level 8. It's the important part now, the last two minutes. 100% FTP, average level 8, the rocade is a 90. Keep those legs strong, push it down to the ball and foot. Well done, 90 seconds. So try to stay relaxed. Keep breathing relaxed. <coughs> Excellent guys, well done. Minute to go. That's it, whatever effort you're at now, keep that effort going. I don't want to see you backing off. Right along guys, 30 seconds. Keep it going. You ready there? 20. Keeping it strong. Next effort, 5. 
Now we're down the plate. Goes up and down. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we are. Sixty-five percent FTP. Sixty-five percent FTP. Ninety cadence. Five minutes. That's it. Just a small bit more resistance than you had previous for the recovery. For five minutes of this. We're going to go five minutes again. And then we start winding it back up for the last hour. That's it. Winding it down nicely. Effort level 5, 65% FTP. Should be nice and easy, nice and relaxed. And 90 kids. That's it, keep it controlled. Let me step down through the recovery. Three and a half minutes, seven level five. Good breath. There you go. Good breath. Let's see that one at the target eight time. I'm going to do five minutes and then I'm going to cool down. Alright, okay, you are. Oh, you're doing it yeah. on purpose. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Give it up to Karen there for going from Karen. I just decided to do my own set. <laughs> just finished now her set. She's doing two hours. So she's picked it up another level for five minutes. Then she's going to wind it down for five minutes and she's finished. The rest of us are going to continue on. Hopefully I'm going to somebody to join me for the next last hour. So the last hour just increases effort each time. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. We want to start at 60, we want 70, 80, 90 and 100. Increasing our effort level every 10 minutes so we're going to have it. Straight recovery, minute recovery in between, then come back up. <laughs> then we're going to wind it down, now we'll have a three hours. So yeah, it's a great standard on session as well, that last hour. And you can break this, what we've just done, you can break that into two, into two sets. So you can have the first hour, an hour and five minutes or so. You can do your second hour into the third hour as a separate session again. So I said you find those videos, hopefully you find those videos on the Facebook page, the Instagram and YouTube. And you can look at them and do them anytime. So just over a minute to go. At 65% FTP, ever down to 5, 90 can. Then we're going down. Minute. Then we're going down for a full recovery. Going to start winding it back up. Well done. Keep it nice and relaxed, make use of your recovery. Keep it going nice and smooth. We're still at 65%, so you're still a decent effort going in. 90 RPM, 30 seconds to go. Next hold at 50% recover. 
Well, right down to 50%. Right down to 50%. Recover. We've got five minutes. I think on a bit of resistance. 50% FPP, ever level two, five minutes, we're winding it down now. Recover, cool down for some. We're going to recover before we start picking it back up. 50% into 60%, and we're going to haul it at 60. And then continue on. That's it, well done. Keep it going. Four minutes to go at 50%. <laughs> You're ready to recover or you're cooling down. Keep it nice and relaxed, keep the legs turning over nice and free. Shouldn't be any resistance on them now again. Should be just nice and smooth. Minutes to go. Make sure you get a drink, take something to eat. You might want a fresh t shirt or top. That's it, 90 RPM, 50% FTP. We're dropping right back down for the full recovery. And we're going to start picking it back up again. It's going to be nice and gradual, nice and gentle. As we get into that last hour. <coughs> We've got two and a half minutes to go of your recovery. Keep it nice and smooth. 50% FTP, effort level 2. I just want to get some fresh top. Two minutes to go. You recover or cool down. 50% FTP. Nice and easy. Make sure you get drinks in. Get an energy bar or something. That's it. Minute and a half to go. Let me some buttons. Keep it nice and smooth. Yeah, be cool there. Yeah. Oh yeah, minute to go. Keep going, nice and easy. One minute. That's it, well done. 25 seconds. We're going to increase then. We're going to go from 50% up to 60% for the next 5 minutes. Next 50% to 60% effort 5. 
So again, you're going to start increasing up to effort level five. Here we are hitting into our last hour. Fifty percent to sixty percent. I say winding it up nice and easy. Keeping it going, nice and smooth. We just reset the Instagram there. Now, if you've just joined us on Instagram, there's our last hour coming up. We're starting at 50% effort, increasing to 60. So you're going up to an effort level 5 or so, 4 or 5, 4 and a half minutes left, 90 cadence. I've just had a change of clothes, fresh drinks, coffee stop, two hours done. We've done four nice sets there this morning earlier. <coughs> just now we have, like I said, we're going 50% into 60% as part of our warm up for this last hour. We're going to hold that 60 for 10 minutes or so. We're going to increase it down, we're going to 67, 80, 90, all the way up as far as our 100% FTP, effort level 8. That's it, so we're at 90 cadence. 53% FTP. If you're after doing the first two hours with me as well, keep it going. Maybe a change of a top. If you've been sweating a lot, don't get cold. I've just refilled all my water bottles. Get some deep. Got coffee here as well. Anyone who knows me at this stage now, watch the videos, gone through the live session, knows I enjoy my coffee. Maybe a true session on a Sunday morning. So we're building gradually up to wherever level 5, 50% up to 60% over the course of 5 minutes or so. We're at 55% there now. Keeping it nice and smooth, 90 cadence, nice and relaxed. You've just joined us. You've joined us for a great hour work coming up. You're still here from the first two hours. Thanks very much. You're in for a treat on this last hour. So well done. If you come through those four blocks, those four sets, they were enough to make you work on any day. Never mind putting them into two hours or three hours. So, well done, as we keep it going, keep that effort going, two minutes to go, 50% up to 60%, we're still increasing our efforts ever so slightly, we're at 56% FTP now if you're looking at that, we're going to effort level 5, we're going to hold then at 60%, Wind into this hour now. We're going to increase and we're going to have a small recovery between each of our efforts. We're going to be nice long efforts. Same cadence all the way through. So we can just settle into that rhythm each time. If you just join, if you're seeing one of these for the first time, this is our graph of what our effort level is. Obviously, the higher the graph, the more effort required. You see over this side, maybe zero. 100%. This is our time on the bottom. This is where we currently are, that highlighted block there. A little ramp on it. There's a minute to go. We we'll count down timer here. Two, two hours, okay. five minutes done. 56 seconds counting down. And it's telling us to do between 50 to 60% effort level, level 5. Currently at 58% FTP. <coughs> on the bottom here. I have 
my power, power is looking for, what power I'm currently doing, cadence, heart rate, speed, watts per kilogram, calories burned, averages then cadence and speed, normalized power as well. Currently, currently we're looking at 1900 calories gone, 20 seconds to go. Still increasing that effort. Hold at 60% effort 5. There we are, 60% FTP. Effort level 5. There we are, we should be holding that 60 there now. Hold at 60% <coughs> effort 5. Nine and a half minutes. It's probably just license mode all the way through. And again, I'm all about consistency. That's what I want to see from everyone, is just be consistent all the way through. Nine and a half minutes of effort. All that cadence. All that power and effort. You want to be using this time to work on your, on your farm. The cadence control. Just dial in that position as, as they say. Get comfortable in that saddle. Know what that effort is for that period of time. And you can do these sessions for any length. Just because I have three hours here this morning doesn't mean you have to, this is just a three hour set session. You can chop it up. It's well marked out there on the graph. So you can do this last hour as a standalone if you were stuck for time. If you were stuck for time in that half an hour, there's a nice half hour here to start. Warm up, 76% FTP, 100% FTP, warm down, 35 minutes done. There we are, job done. Oh, look at this for service. We have food, bananas, free ash roll, coffee, cereal bar. bar, everything coming there this morning. Oh, I'm going <laughs> Thanks, girls. That's why the little girls give me well topped up food and energy. Coffee. There we are. Still at 60% FTP. Effort level 5. Seven and a half minutes to go. That's it. It's going to just feel easier than what we've just done to start with. The intensity is going to be a bit less. But it's going to increase and we're going to pick it up. So don't be worrying if you think I'm going too easy. The last two hours have been hard. I'm going too easy all of a sudden. You're not. It's all part of the plan of the session. And it's not about mixing it up to keep you guessing. Like I said, it's built for consistency. Of speed, cadence, power, effort, control. That's what it's all about, just control. Where you're Recreational cycling or cycling for competition. It's all about control. You want to be able to get home at the end of the day. If you're like me, and you like to do a nice big effort on the road, put in some good work, but at the end of the day, you're amateur, you're an age group triathlete. What a rule of my house is when you come home on a Sunday after five hours on the bike. They're not allowed to go sleep on the couch. The kids are going to want time to play with you. So you have to help out around the house, bring the kids for a walk, do all that stuff. That's the goal here as well. Get off the bike. Nice effort done. Beneficial effort. But still, we have something left for the rest of the day. And we're looking at next week as well when our intensity picks up. So we wind it down again uh, Tuesday. Easier for Tuesday. Pick it back up then midweek. We're going to our intervals on Thursday. And then we go along then again on Sunday. So we keep these going for the next few weeks or months. Five and a half minutes to go. Make sure you're getting some food in. I'm going to get some brioche rolls and bananas. Keep me going.
and you're just drinking the bottle. Keep that salt coming in as well. That's it guys, well done. So we have one favour to ask as well. A friend of mine doing these sessions, David O'Rourke. You can find him on Instagram as well. Dave underscore OR. Dave's following the sessions. He's using us the challenge. Hashtag do it for Dan. Young Dan, a very sick boy. He has a lot of money. Go to America. Make his life better and easier. We're nearly there on their target. But Dave is doing, has been doing 10 duathlons in 10 days, as well as other things. The fair play to him, he's using these sessions as part of his challenge, part of his donation. So, you can find your way over to Dave, give him a like and a follow, click on the link, donate. To do it for Dan, search for the hashtag do it for Dan, give a donation, mention Dave O'Rourke. These sessions are free that I put out, I don't charge for them. Everyone is welcome to do them. All I ask is donate the cost of a class, just as a gesture. I doing them for free. I like doing them. But just since the charity is worthwhile, it's a worthwhile effort by everyone all over the country. Nearly 2 million euros raised. So if you could donate the cost of one class to do it for Dan, I'd very much appreciate it. I don't want any notification that you've done it. I don't mind. It's totally up to yourself. Just as I said, the cost of one class, if you can do my classes here, Doing these sessions and you're enjoying them. If you could just find your way to donate the cost of one class. Five euros. Five or six euros. Donate to that, to that cause. Very much appreciate it. Loads of people around the country doing their bit. Another friend of mine, James Morrissey. <laughs> James actually cycled. Cycled, he did, didn't, he rode. James rode across the Atlantic a couple of years ago, part of a four-man crew, I think it was, setting a world record. So, and again, James ran 50k around the front green of his housing estate. I think it was 100 laps he did. Yesterday, in very warm conditions. And he donated 50 euros to the cause as well. Do it for Dan. And he ran a kilometre for every euro, he said. So, there are people doing their bit all over the place. So, all I ask is you donate cost of one class. If you can find a way to do that, cost of one class to do it for Dan. I very much appreciate it. One minute left. At 60%. Effort level 5. Cadence 90. You're going to get a very short recovery. And then it's going to pick up again. That's it guys. Well done. I know there's other GA clubs around the country. And they're definitely in the leash area. Done the same thing to work for that. <laughs> My own local area here, Clean Arles, Arles Clean Football Club, GA, Next they're doing 10 points up as well. Other GA clubs around as well, Arles Clean Cross, Collation, all doing something. No 
hold at 30%. 30% FTP, complete, complete recovery for one minute. No resistance whatsoever. 90 cadence, no resistance. 30% FTP. We want a full, complete drop down to the heart rate. And then we're going to pick it up. We're going to be doing 70%. Well done. Keep it going. Keep it going. Well I'm proud of everyone there this morning. Great effort. Next hold at 70% effort 6. 70%. Effort level 6. So we were at 76% before the last effort. This is 70%. Hold at 70%. Ever down six, six, nine and a half minutes. 70% FTP. Should be never level six, is only a step up from where we were on the last one. Nine and a half minutes. 90 RPM. This is going to lead you into a false sense of security. 70%. It's going to feel relatively easy. 